Hello everyone, welcome to yourfaculty.com. We are going to deal with logarithms in this video. This is our website yourfaculty.com and this is our Facebook page. We'll start with uh, some basic understanding about logarithms. Uh, I'll not get into details. Uh, we'll look at from a uh, competitive exam point of view. So all that you need to understand is if uh, there's an expression called a to the power of m is equal to x a to the power of m is equal to x. Please note that where a is a real number, right, and not equal to 1. So, if this is the case, what is that we can do? I mean, how can we represent it otherwise? We can represent this as m is equal to log x to the base a. So, this is what it is. So, how do you pronounce it for uh, for guys who are seeing it for the first time? Log x to the base of a. Okay. So, if I have to write it in, a, in the form of example, we know that 10 cube is equal to 1000. Right. And if I have to write it in the form of log, how does this look like? Log 1000 to the base 10 is equal to 3. See, if you look at this expression, how do you remember, how do you remember it? a to the power of m is equal to x, okay? The easiest way for you to remember is move everything in one cyclic direction, okay? Move everything in one cyclic direction, it becomes m, a comes down, x is on, uh, up, and then you write log, that's it. So, you are doing everything by moving in one cyclic direction. Similarly, move all this towards this side and you get x is equal to a to the power of m. So I hope you are able to understand that this is, for, this is a shortcut just for you to remember because if you are just few days away from the competitive exam and you are not uh, brushed through this chapter at all, just remember this technique so that you don't get confused uh, when you look at the problems in the exam. And this is pretty easy, remember? This is very, very easy uh, and you can solve the questions in logarithms just like that. So, uh, we can, we can, if you want, I can write one more uh, uh, example. Let's uh, take this. 2 to the power of minus 3 is what? 1 by 8. And how do we write it in the form of log? As I said, move everything in one direction. So, minus 3 is equal to log 1 by 8 to the base 2. Simple, right? Now, there are some properties of logarithm that are very useful for you when you try to solve problems. We will start with the first one. The first one is log xy to the base a is equal to log x to the base a plus log y to the base a. Please remember, there are two values being multiplied here. We just need to split them up as sum of two values. That's it. Second one, log x by y to the base a is equal to log x to the base a minus log y to the base a. When it's a division, you just need to separate it with a negative symbol. That's it, minus symbol. The next one is very important uh, property. Please do have it in your mind. Log x to the base x is equal to 1 and again an important one, log 1 to the base a is equal to 0. Now, why is that so? Again, let's try to apply our same concept. We move everything in one direction. A to the power of 0 is equal to 1. We know this, right? Anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And that's what is being represented here. Represented here. And next is log x to the power of p to the base a is equal to, just move it over here, p log x to the base a. And next property log x to the base a can also be written as 1 by log a to the base x. 
this is again a very important property very useful for simplification uh, so please do remember i am just writing down some of the important properties i am sure it will be very useful for you when you uh, take up exam so just remember all these log x to the base a can also be written as log x to the base b by log a to the base b which is anyways equal to log x by log b okay so please remember these properties uh, very useful ones so you just need to know that in the case of log x to the base a you can also write as log x by sorry it's log a okay log x by log a we'll start practicing some problems i believe you will be able to understand it much better then our first question is log 16 to the base 2 is okay very very simple question right log 16 to the base 2 so for us it is very easy if we put x here because we are going to move everything by one direction so 16 is equal to 2 to the power of x 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 2 to the power of x so x is equal to 4 right that's your answer next question log 4 to the base x is equal to 0.4 then the value of x is so what do we do in this case log 4 to the base x is equal to 4 by 10 that's 2 by 5 so we move everything by uh, one step so what do we get we get 4 is equal to x to the power of 2 by 5 right and uh, how do you solve this we need to find out x x is equal to if you are going to bring this power to this side you would have seen in certs we have to just make it 5 by 2 right we just multiply both sides by 5 by 2 and you will you will have to bring it out the side so x is equal to 2 square 5 by 2 you cancel this x is equal to 2 power 5 which is 32 remember if you don't understand how this is done you just multiply both sides by uh, to the power of 5 by 2 so x 2 by 5 5 5 2 this both cancels out and you have 4 to the power of 5 by 2 is equal to x log y to the base of x is equal to 100 and log x to the base of 2 is equal to 10 then the value of y is how do we solve this problem we know that log x to the base 2 is equal to 10 we move all in one direction so x is equal to 2 to the power of 10 so when x is equal to 2 to the power of 10 what happens in this expression is equal to 100 right so we move all by one direction so y is equal to x to the power of 100 so which means y is equal to 2 to the power of 10 power 100 and that's equal to what 1000 remember there should be three zeros so don't get confused with uh, uh, too many zeros there okay next question log square root of 8 by log of 8 is equal to so how can we write this one as this can be written as log 8 to the power of half square root of 8 can be written as 8 to the power of half right log 8 and we know one property here right what is that property log a to the power of p is equal to p log a or x x what about us so in this case this is equal to half log 8 by log 8 and your answer is half that's it easy right now which of the following is not correct log 10 to the base of 10 we know that log x to the base of x is equal to 
This is correct. Now log 2 plus 3 is equal to log 2 plus 2 into 3. So this is log 5 and the other one is log 6. They are not equal. Right? This is 6 and this is 5. So this is not correct. And next one is log sorry log a to the base of 10 sorry 1 to the base of 10 is equal to 0 or 1 to the base of a is equal to 0 we know that property right because a power 0 is equal to 1 we know this property and hence this is correct this one is 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 this is log 6 and log 1 plus log 2 plus log 3 how can we write this as log 1 into 2 into 3 and this is also equal to log 6 so this is also correct so b is the only option which is incorrect so that's your answer next is a to the power of x is equal to b to the power of y so we need to find if any of these uh, answers are correct or not so because we know that there is log in all the answers we'll just try to apply log on both sides of this expression a power x is equal to b power y so log applying log on both sides you get log a power x is equal to log b power y now we can bring x to the other side to the, to the front a is equal to y log b fair enough so what are we left with log a by log b okay we bring this down and uh, is equal to y by x uh, log a by log b is equal to y by x this is your option next question 2 log to the uh, log 5 to the base 10 plus log 8 minus 1 by 2 log 4 is equal to so this is a problem you if you are getting such problems it's uh, i mean you you should be able to solve it in uh, less than 30 seconds let's try to understand what this means so let's first write the expression uh, we'll start from to the base 10 plus log a to the base 10 minus half log 4 to the base 10 so i can ignore this 10 for the time being i'll just uh, look at 2 log 5 so what is 2 log 5 that can also be written as log 5 square plus log 8 minus log 4 to the power of half and what is this, this is log 25 plus log 8 minus log 2 we know that if it is log a plus log b it is equal to log of a b and log a minus log b is equal to log of a by b so applying the same concept here what what do we have here log 25 plus log 8 is equal to log 25 into 8 minus log 2 right so 25 to 8 is equal to log 200 and we bring this down to is equal to log 100 we'll just use the base now which is 10 here log 100 to the base 10 is equal to 2 10 square is equal to 100 right so the answer is 2 thanks for watching our uh, video uh, you can subscribe to more videos at your faculty channel like us on our facebook page and our LinkedIn page and you can also follow us in Twitter. Thank you.